In today's Animal Wise video, we discuss 40 things you should never do to your cat. We'll start by showing you 10 household items which can kill your cat, so you can ensure you keep them well out of reach of your feline. It is usual for a cat to try and drink water from anywhere during the warmest months, especially if their water bowl is empty. If you have been negligent and forgotten the bucket of bleach water you used to clean, you may have a serious problem. Some cats love the smell of bleach, which can be a serious health problem. Bleach is very harmful and can cause serious issues in their digestive system such as vomiting, excessive salivation and a lot of pain. Aspirin is a very common medicine for human use. However, the effects on our cat can be very serious. After the ingestion of this drug, the cat could suffer vomiting, bleeding, ulcers and even internal perforation. The poinsettia or Easter flower, which is typical during Christmas, is toxic for dogs and cats. The milky sap offered by this plant causes vomiting and diarrhea in small amounts, but in large doses it can be very harmful. Chocolate contains a toxic substance called theobromine, an alkaloid obtained from cocoa that stimulates the nervous system. Unlike people, felines are not able to remove this substance from their bodies with the same means, making it a toxic agent for them. Only 6 grams of chocolate per kilogram of your cat's weight can be lethal. As with people, tobacco smoke causes cancer in cats. If you're a smoker, you should keep your windows open, smoke outdoors whenever possible and blow smoke towards the ceiling at all times. It's not a good idea to offer raw fish to our cat. Raw fish can contain bacteria, which is very harmful to a cat that is used to eating dry food. On the other hand, we must also be careful with the spines. Finally, it should be noted that the consumption of certain fish, such as tuna, can cause an excessive intake of mercury, which is very harmful to cats. Your cat will most likely be attracted to them if they see mothballs on the floor. If they are ingested, we will be faced with a very serious health problem because they seriously damage the nervous system. It can cause vomiting, diarrhea and even seizures. Toothpaste contains a lot of chemical elements such as fluoride or abrasives such as salt. Fluoride in particular is very harmful and dangerous for the cat's health. It can cause nerve disturbances inattention, heartburn, vomiting and internal damage. It is very important to avoid cat access to this product. Different types of paints are composed of pigments, binders, solvents, plasticizers and other elements. They are all harmful to your cat's intestinal health, but solvents in particular can cause hallucinations, intense internal pain, convulsions, epilepsy, coma and even cardiac arrhythmias. Obviously, any type of poison is very harmful to the health of your pets. If you have cats or dogs at home, you should never use rat, snail or insect poison as your animals could be affected. Ingesting this type of product can cause a very painful death. If your cat has been poisoned, you should see your vet as soon as possible to help expel the toxic substance from the body. Remember that it is not advisable to try to make a feline vomit if we are not clear what they have ingested, because some products such as bleach can act as dangerous corrosives in their mouth. Go to the emergency vet if necessary. Your cat's life is at risk if they have swallowed any of these 10 things. The best thing you can do to prevent your cat from getting intoxicated is to keep all these products out of reach, just like you would with a small child. Now you know these 10 very dangerous items for your cat, we provide a guide to the plants you might have in the home which are toxic to these animals. Depending on the type of toxic plant with which our cat has come in contact, they will develop different symptoms. The most common disorders and health problems caused by intoxication are gastrointestinal disorders, neurological issues, heart problems, allergic dermatitis and even renal failure. The most common toxic plants which can cause serious damage to a cat's nervous and digestive system are the following. Oleander. The main issues concern gastrointestinal problems, but depending on the amount ingested, oleander can lead to respiratory distress, arrhythmia or cardiac arrest in extreme cases can also cause fever and drowsiness. Azalea. 
Azelia also mainly affects the digestive system, resulting in diarrhea, vomiting, and excessive salivation. In small quantities, a lack of coordination and hallucinations may be provoked. Ingesting higher amounts can cause acute digestive damage, respiratory distress, heart problems, seizures, hypertension, coma, and even death in severe cases. Dumb cane. All parts of this plant are toxic to cats, so they can be damaged by ingestion or direct contact. Direct contact leads to dermatological disorders such as irritation, inflammation, redness, or even blisters. Ingestion causes a burning sensation in the mouth, meaning cats usually will stop eating it immediately. Ivy. All parts of this plant are poisonous, with their fruit being especially dangerous. It causes gastrointestinal disorders such as diarrhea and vomiting, as well as spasms and increased heart rate. Additionally, mere contact with the skin develops dermatitis and rashes in our cat. In the most serious cases where the plant is consumed, it can be fatal. Before detailing the five remaining plants, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with everything we share. Hydrangea. Both the leaves and flowers are toxic with the most common symptoms of poisoning typical of gastrointestinal disorders including diarrhea, vomiting and abdominal pain. Depending on the amount ingested, it can affect the nervous system and cause motor skill problems such as incoordination. Hyacinth. Although the flowers are toxic, the most dangerous part for cats is the bulb. It causes digestive disorders such as gastrointestinal irritation, diarrhea and vomiting. Lilies. Ingesting this toxic plant for cats mainly produces digestive disorders such as diarrhea, vomiting, abdominal pain and even malaise. In the most severe cases, it can cause hypertension and increase feline blood pressure. Marijuana. Although it is illegal to have this plant at home, you should know that its intake is highly toxic to the cat. Symptoms they will present include a lack of coordination, vomiting, diarrhea, excessive drooling, seizures, increased heart rate, and in the worst cases, coma. Poinsettia, one of the most common plants in homes during winter, and at the same time, one of the most toxic for cats. If ingested, it can cause digestive disorders which cause diarrhea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. In cases of direct contact with the sap of the plant, this will cause irritation to the skin and eyes of the cat, itching and rashes. Narcissus. All varieties of Narcissus are toxic to cats as a whole. Skin irritation develops with direct contact, while ingestion produces serious gastrointestinal problems such as vomiting and acute diarrhea, inflammation and abdominal pain. Related cardiac disorders can lead to the death of the animal. Here ends our video for today. Do you have any plants at home you're worried about? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to give us a like if you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. While we may be able to eat them fine, our next video details the fruits and vegetables harmful to cats so you will know never to feed them to your feline. Avocados. The high fat content makes them a forbidden fruit for cats. The result of its ingestion can result in pancreatitis. In addition, if a cat swallows the stone or skin, they could suffer an intestinal obstruction. Its consumption is also associated with the appearance of digestive problems. Avocados contain a toxin called persin, although it does rarely affect cats. Grapes, raisins and currants. Grapes, raisins, sultanas or currants are harmful to the kidneys of cats. Even a relatively small amount can lead to acute kidney failure and even death. This is why we should never give them these fruits or add them to any recipe we offer. Oranges, lemons, tangerines and grapefruit. Citrus fruits such as oranges, lemons, tangerines or grapefruit are considered harmful fruits for cats due to their acidity. This can cause gastric irritation. Fortunately, they are not fruits which hold much appeal for most cats. Apples, peaches, plums, pears and cherries. Apple is a healthy fruit for cats, but we include it in the list because its seeds contain substances capable of generating cyanide, which could be harmful to them. Specifically, cyanide inhibits an enzyme that is necessary for the transport of oxygen between cells. This means we can only offer apple to cats without any seeds or even the leaves of this fruit's tree. This same problem is also caused by the stones of other fruits, such as peaches, nectarines, plums, pears, cherries or apricots.
If you want to know what fruits are recommended for cats, check out the first info video above. Onions and Garlic Both onion and garlic contain a substance called triosulfate, which is related to the appearance of hemolytic anemia, a problem related to the rupture of red blood cells that can lead to a fatal outcome. For this, our cat would have to consume large amounts or small doses over a long period of time, but smaller amounts of onion and garlic can cause diarrhea and vomiting. Potatoes The potato is a tuber that contains solanine, which is toxic to not only cats, but also people and dogs. The good news is that it can be removed by cooking them. This means cats can eat cooked potato, but only in small quantities, as they only provide unhelpful carbohydrates. Check out the next info video in which we explain in detail what a cat should eat. Tomatoes Although their appearance is not reminiscent of a potato, they are from the same Solanaceae family. For this reason, tomatoes also contain solanine when they are not yet fully ripe, and this means they can be harmful to cats. Care must also be taken with the plant, because if the cat has access to one, they could chew and ingest its leaves or stems, which also contain solanine. Finally, we're going to show you 15 things you should never do to your cat if you don't want them to harm their health or their relationship with you. Fail to respect the basic freedoms of animal welfare. Welcoming a cat into the home requires a great level of responsibility for ensuring their welfare. This means keeping them free of thirst, hunger, malnutrition, pain and disease, all while letting them express their feline nature without fear or stress. Not taking them to the vet. Even if your cat is well, you should take them to the veterinary clinic for a yearly preventive check to verify their health and bring their vaccination and deworming schedules up to date. Also, if you observe a sudden change in behaviour, you should take a cat to be checked before a health problem progresses beyond help. Punish or scold them. As much as there are situations that make you lose your patience, punishment is totally contradicted if you want to educate a cat. Your cat does not understand the reason for your anger, so they can begin to distrust and show rejection towards you. In addition, they will suffer stress and therefore, you will only make the situation worse. Not paying enough attention. A cat is a playful social animal that needs exercise. Therefore, you need to spend time every day either to pamper them or play with them. You must spend quality time together practicing activities that stimulate them cognitively and physically. Otherwise, your cat will be bored and accumulate a lot of energy, making them irritable, stressed and develop behavior problems. Here we share a video in which we show you five games to entertain your cat at home. Not respecting their boundaries. Even if you don't do it with bad intentions, it is likely that sometimes you will be too affectionate with your kitten to the point of overwhelming them. Often the best way to show your cat that you love them is by respecting their limits, understanding when they are receptive to pampering, when they want to play, and when they want to be left alone. Perform an onyectomy. An onyectomy is a surgical procedure which involves amputating the last phalanx of each of a cat's paws to remove the bone, joint, nerves and blood vessels. It is also known as declawing and is done with the intention of removing the claws so they do not perform behaviours people consider annoying such as scratching us or destroying upholstery. It is a cruel practice with serious negative physical and psychological repercussions for the well-being of the cat. You should train them to redirect these behaviours and use appropriate tools such as scratching posts or toys. Humanise them and not let them be a cat. If you try to relate to a cat from a human perspective only, many misunderstandings will arise which confuse and harm them. Their needs and ours are not the same. This is why you need to identify whether your approach to care and treatment is appropriate from a feline perspective, not your own. Also, you need to understand that a cat has certain needs specific to their species, such as scratching, playing, meowing, etc. Through appropriate guidance and positive reinforcement, you should redirect these behaviours into appropriate activities. Enjoy making them feel bad. Many people find it amusing to put their cats in compromising situations to get a reaction, often scaring or hurting them in the process. These range in cruelty, but even some which seem like a game can be harmful. For example, playing with a laser pointer means the cat will never catch the light which can cause serious frustration and confusion. Abandon them. Some people are simply too irresponsible to adopt a cat. When they get tired of them, they simply abandon them to nature. Many of these animals die as they do not know how to survive or end up in a shelter and have difficulties in being rehomed. Don't educate them. Education is an essential part of a happy coexistence with cats. This way, cats don't learn habits which can cause a nuisance such as biting or scratching furniture. 
with proper guidance and positive reinforcement, cats can learn the rules of a home and behave appropriately. Here we share a video in which we give you tips to get along with a cat. Smoking well with them. Smoke is very harmful for a cat's lungs. They can develop serious health problems if they inhale it constantly. Furthermore, with their need to groom regularly by licking, they can ingest toxic particles from the cigarette which settle onto their coats. Treat them like a toy. In some homes, cats are brought in to be a plaything for children, as if they were little more than a stuffed toy. This is why it is necessary to explain to kids the importance of respect for animals, as well as supervising play sessions. Give inappropriate food. Sometimes you may feel like pampering your cat with food, especially if they give you longing looks. However, giving cats inappropriate food, such as chocolate, cookies or other types, will harm their health, especially in the long term. If you want to offer your furry friend something more suitable, you can buy them different treats, wet foods or other ingredients which will not harm their health. Expose them to loud or annoying noises. Cats have very sharp hearing, so it can be very stressful if they are constantly exposed to loud noises. Therefore, your cat should have an area in the home where they can rest quietly without being exposed to loud noises. Similarly, it is not advisable for your cat to carry a bell as this sound can bother them. Dress them up with annoying accessories. Thanks to specialist stores and the internet, there are more and more options to dress up your cat. If you are thinking of purchasing any of these products, spare a thought to what your cat will think. You should never dress them up in items which are uncomfortable or harmful to them. Before buying an accessory for your cat, always make sure it does not hinder their mobility, prevent them from grooming, or cause any physical harm. Are any of these dangers surprising to you? Let us know in the comments if so, and we'll see you next time.